time a company managed to capture two of the biggest secular growth trends of our year, you better believe it catches my attention. That's why tonight we're going off the tape with Flywheel, the privately held up-and-coming indoor cycling chain that's become very popular in New York City. What sets this story apart from its myriad competitors? Simple. Flywheel puts a special emphasis on technology. Their bikes track your performance so that you can get a more personalized workout. And this morning, the company took that to its logical conclusion, rolling out a new product. It's called Fly Anywhere, a stationary bike equipped with a tablet display that you can ride at home in order to take their classes remotely, either streaming them live or watching them on demand. And you don't even need to plug it in because your pedaling provides the power. The tablet equipped uh, bike will sell for $2,099, not exactly cheap. But I think people will be willing to pay up, given that this company's found a way to fuse the fitness craze with the convenience of the stay-at-home economy, though I don't know if it's really a craze. So let's take a closer look with Sarah Rob O'Hagan. She's the CEO of Flywheel. Learn more about this exciting new store and the development. Ms. Rob O'Hagan, welcome to Mad Money. Thank Hi. you so much, Sarah. Have Hi. a seat. It's great this to be great. here. All right, so Sarah, my first question is, how is this different from others? We've had Peloton on, yeah. and it looks like it's a new device, but... It seems very compelling, but I want to know like why I yeah. should choose it over another. Well, first of all, um, like the sixteen ninety nine offering, as you can see here, it's Bluetooth enabled, so you put your own device right okay. here on the tray and stream it to your own TV. And by the way, big screen experience, like huge speakers, amazing immersive experience, which we think is pretty awesome. <laughs> okay, well, it sounds so awesome that I wonder why I would want to go to the studio. It sounds yeah. pretty compelling. No, it's a great question. And we actually find in fitness, like there's a real community aspect to it. And a lot of our riders are saying, you know, I love being in the studio, but there are days when I'm traveling or there are days when I'm at, you know, a different location and I want to be able to do it in my home as well. Well, also, I imagine that sometimes you can't get into class or you have time or you, yeah. you have a, a child at home, exactly. you can do this. Yeah. Now, um, when I think about this, I wonder, uh, my wife goes to Lori B. in Milburn, okay? You know, if it's, uh, you want to get the person in the studio, yeah. uh, but I think that this could be so compelling that I have to tell you that I think, well, you know what? Um, I'd like to have it at home, and then maybe I cancel my membership. Oh, no. No? No, <laughs> no right. but actually, the way we think about it and from a business model standpoint is that the whole will be great in the sum of its parts, right? So we have 42 studios today. We're quite bullish about the studio experience itself and rolling that out. But as you know, there's a limit to how many locations in the U.S. you're ever right. going to get to, whereas once you offer an experience like this, you're building that brand equity that people hear about that go, hey, I've heard of that. I can't get to a studio <laughs> but I can put it in my home. Okay, so you have a really kind of very big runway. I yeah. mean, you're only you have 42. Is your goal to be in most of the major uh, metropolises? Absolutely. No, we definitely want to keep growing with right. the studio business. Listen, we. what's interesting about Flywheel, right, is that there's about 100 million Americans that work out at least one day a week. Okay. Now, there's 40 million that work out five to six days a week, and they make up about 70 to 80 percent of our rider base. So what that tells you is we get the super into fitness people right. and we want to get more of them <laughs> all right well um, it, some people would hear that price tag and think it's a lot can you yeah. give me a comparison to tell me why that is not a very high price tag for these people for that cohort that yeah, you're talking about absolutely I mean this is the cohort that's spending their outdoor cycling they're running they're doing events like this is a lifestyle for them and so when you think of sort of share of wallet like we're not just competing just straight head for head with fitness dollars it's all the other things in that lifestyle the equipment that goes into it all right now Tell me about the uh, the arc of spinning. Uh -huh. I mean, there was a time, I remember I went on a vacation 10 years ago, and there was a spin instructor. I had no idea what spinning <laughs> is. Now it's hard to find people who don't spin. Yeah, you're absolutely right. So it is like it started way back in the 80s. But what's cool about Flywheel, we were the first company to put technology on the bike. So as you know, in the old days, the instructor says, I'd turn up the resistance. Right, and that's kind all of there pretending, was, right. you know. Whereas now with us, like we're saying, here's a number. We want you to hit this kind of output, which gives you that accountability. Right. That's why we're attracting such a sort of competitive and passionate athlete because they're like they want to push their results to the next level and we help them do that. Okay, uh, if I were watching my screen, I'm watching the best of the best. What yeah. do you? Who's creating the content? Who's creating the content? Now yeah. that is what I'm most proud of. Okay. By the way, is our instructors kick ass? I have to. I don't know if I can say it on the show. No, but well, you just said. <laughs> Point. Because we um, have put a lot of time and effort into the fitness credibility behind it. We call right. it the flywheel method. It's a proprietary okay. hit workout that you're doing on the bike. And we have the best instructors teaching it. So, right. Well, last question. A lot of times when my wife is up, to, she just says, okay, listen, I want to be on the on the ladder of yeah. seeing. But sometimes you want to be anonymous. What do you totally. find most people do? Yeah, it's actually 
interesting, like half and half. But half what we half. found is that people like your wife who say, I don't want to be on the board today, they're pacing against other people that are. Yeah, right. So on the actually the at-home experience, we have a feature called the pacer. So you can pace either against yourself or another person, which is... Well, fun. I think it's important because yeah. the, the experience, the community... But totally. My wife loves the studio because yeah. although she doesn't like to sit in the front row. Oh, really? <laughs> no, 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 she's row three today. Oh, row three, okay. Row three row is today. good. But she loves the community. Yeah, it's all about the community. Well, That's terrific. Right. Okay, I wish you the best of Thank luck. Thank you. That's Sarah Rob O'Hagan, the CEO of Flywheel, with the brand new bike that I think you can do both. You can go to the studio for the community, or if you can't get away, you can do it at home. Stick with Kramer. Booyah! Jim Kramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.